Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing farmhouse style craft ideas with you. These look so high end, look like you would see at a really cute store or even at a craft show. I cannot wait to show you these ideas, so stay tuned. Today's video is in collaboration with my sweet crafting friend Linda from Faith Chick 777's DIY by Design. Her channel is loaded with beautiful everyday and seasonal crafting inspo. If you are not following her already, you are in for a real treat. You are going to love her channel. Today she is sharing farmhouse style crafts as well. I cannot wait for you to see what she is sharing. I'll include a link for her video today as well as her channel in the description. Make sure Sure you stop by say hi and let her know that I sent you and if you are new here to my channel welcome I love sharing home decor cooking and DIY here on my channel so if those are videos you enjoy watching click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video okay you guys you know what time it is grab yourself a hot cup of coffee or a hot tea sit back relax and let's get to crafting first up I'm going to make a farmhouse style floral pocket using this shiplap style board from Dollar Tree and this fabric from Hobby Lobby. I use a piece of fabric that is wide enough to cover the front and that I can wrap around and attach to the back with hot glue. I also like to fold the fabric over in the front and I'm not pulling it too tight because I wanna have enough room to create a loose pocket so I can add some stuffing and of course some florals or greenery. And of course, if you want a finished look on the back, you can attach another piece of fabric with hot glue. Once I've created the pocket, now I'm going to add some stuffing. You can use old pillow stuffing. I'm actually using just some tissue paper because I couldn't find my stuffing and just some old scraps that I had on hand. And now I'm going to add some greenery. This beautiful greenery I got at a local shop, but check Hobby Lobby if you like this greenery. They have similar greenery there as well. And look how pretty this turned out and so easy to make too, but I'm gonna take it an extra step and add a flameless candle as well. I've made these before for fall and Christmas, so check out my other Craft With Me videos where you can see those. I always like adding that little candle inside just for that added touch and look at how pretty it is with the flameless candle. This flameless candle I picked up at a local shop, but I'll include some similar options in the description below. And here it is all done, so easy to make. And this looks beautiful hung on a wall or even on a door. And I just love the flicker of the flameless candle and you can change out the greenery seasonally if you like as well. Next up, I'm making a really cute tag with this tag from Dollar Tree. This tag is gonna coordinate so nicely with everything else that I'm making. First, I'm going to stain the bead so I add some painter's tape, and then I'm using Apple Barrel in the color Burnt Umber, adding some water to it so it is the consistency of a stain, and then I'm applying it to the beads using a paper towel or you could use a rag. There are so many things that you could add onto this tag, but I'm gonna add a buffalo check pattern. If you love buffalo check, you're gonna love this transfer. It makes painting buffalo check a breeze. I'll include a link for it in the description below. So this is a silk screen transfer. I'm gonna add it onto my surface, and then I'm going to add some white chalk paste. So I simply add the white chalk paste over this, and then I will remove it and I'll wash it off. I'll be able to use the transfer again. Here it is all done and it was so easy to do with that transfer and this will look so good styled with everything else. Next up, I'm making a farmhouse style riser using this frame that I picked up at Hobby Lobby along with these candlesticks that I'm actually going to use for legs also at Hobby Lobby. 
simply removing the screw as well as the hangers and then my hubby came in with a little bit of filler to fill in the hole where the screw was. Next, I'm going to stain the legs. I'm using Apple Barrel in the color Burnt Umber. I'm adding some water to it to give it the consistency of a stain and I am just applying it with a paper towel or you could use an old rag. And this is how they turned out. Now I'm going to attach them with clear E6000 as well as hot glue. First, I'm going to place them so I like my placement. Then I'm going to draw a circle around them so I know where to apply my hot glue and E6000. Next, I'm going around the inside of the circle I drew with the hot glue and clear E6000 and then placing my leg on top. Once I've attached all of my legs, I'm going to set it aside to dry. And here it is all done. I love the way this turned out. It is a great decor piece. You could use this for so many different things. I'm actually going to style it with a candle ring and a flameless candle as well as the tag that I made previously. And now I'm gonna add that tag and look at how pretty this all looks together. And next up, I grabbed this sign also from Hobby Lobby. Grab these when they are 40% off. They are so affordable. I love the color. This is such a great blank to use for so many different things. And then I have another one of these candle rings. I got this at a local shop, but you can find similar ones at Hobby Lobby. I'm simply adding hot glue to the back of the candle ring and I'm going to place it on the center of this frame. And then I'm going to make a simple bow with a piece of torn fabric. This is the same fabric that I used for the floral pocket. So everything coordinates. And then I'm gonna add just a little dab of hot glue to attach it to the candle ring. And then I can easily remove it if I want to change it out seasonally. And here it is all done. It is so pretty. I love the simplicity. This looks so pretty hung on a door or a wall. And I love how it coordinates with everything else that I've made. Next, I'm going to make an open lantern with the sign from Dollar Tree as well as two Hot Wheel tracks also from Dollar Tree. First, I'm going to spray paint everything with Rust-Oleum and the color white. My hubby Wayne offered to spray paint everything for me since it is still cold outside and I gladly accepted. So here he is adding the spray paint to everything. The Hot Wheel tracks definitely take a few coats. Next, I want to give this a distressed look, so I'm going to dry brush 
apple barrel in the color burnt umber over everything. So I add a little bit of paint to my paintbrush, dab most of it off so I have a dry brush, and then I do long strokes over everything very lightly until I get the desired look. Next, I'm going to attach the tracks to the base using hot glue and clear E6000. Once I have the first track attached, I'm going to take the second track and place it over top and then attach it with the E6000 and hot glue. Once the tracks are attached, I'm going to set it aside to dry and then I have this little wood bead that is also from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to lightly stain that with the burnt umber mixed with some water and I'm going to attach that to the top with hot glue. And this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. I love the distressing on it too. I made one a few years ago that I shared over on Instagram and I'll show you that one here as well. And I'm just adding a candle ring as well as a flameless candle and look at how beautiful this is. Here's the open lantern I shared before over on my Instagram page. I painted just the inside of the base on this one and then I spray painted the tracks and I assembled it just the same. And I love the way that I styled this one for fall. Next, I'm gonna use one of the prints from this calendar from Dollar Tree, as well as this frame that fits the prints from the calendar perfectly. I always love picking up these calendars from Dollar Tree every year. There's so many cute seasonal pictures in them, and I love that this frame fits these prints perfectly. So first, I'm going to spray paint this frame white. Next, I'm going to distress the frame. I'm using folk art paint in the color Barnwood. So I'm going to dry brush the paint on. So I lightly dab my paintbrush in the paint, dab most of it off, and then I'm going to apply the paint using long strokes. I also wanted to add a little bit more gray into the frame, so I'm using Apple Barrel in the color Country Gray, and so I'm going to dry brush a little bit of that onto the frame as well. And here it is all done. Next, I'm going to pick my print from this calendar. What I love is that I can change it out seasonally. For this one, I'm going to use the garden print. Next, I'm gonna add back in the glass, which I often don't do. I usually like a matte look, but I'm actually going to add the glass back in and then add my print and then just use a little bit of tape to hold it in place and then put the backing back on. And finally, I'm gonna add a little dab of hot glue where you can see the hole from the calendar and add a cute little twine bow to cover that. And look at how cute this turned out. And I love the torn look at the bottom where you can see the paper. You see other prints like that at the stores. And I love that it kind of looks intentional. It's just really, really pretty. I love the way it turned out. And I love how it looks styled with everything here.
Last up, I'm going to make a really cute coffee sign, perfect for a farmhouse style coffee bar. I am using a silk screen transfer. What I love about this is I can reuse this transfer again and again. I just have to wash it once I'm done and once it's dry, it's ready to reuse. This is the first time I'm using this transfer. I'm just defuzzing it just to get off some of the stickies off the back. Then I'm adding it onto my sign. I'm pressing it down really well, making sure there's no air bubbles and it's on there really good and flat. And then I'm going to apply my chalk paste. I'm just using black, but the great thing about this is you can use any color you like that matches your decor. I'm applying chalk paste over all of the lettering with a squeegee. A little bit of chalk paste goes a long way. You don't need to add a lot. I just make sure I get it nice and covered and it's all even. And again, you could use whatever color you like. I'm using black because I think it gives it a really nice farmhouse look. I'll include a link in the description below for the supplies to make this as well. And here it is all done. I love the way it turned out. I love the distressing and the lettering that you get from using a silkscreen transfer. This sign is actually double-sided too, so I could add something to the other side as well. And this looks so cute hung on the coffee bar. Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments below what you enjoyed the most. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, as well as behind the scenes and stories, make sure you're following me over on my Instagram page, at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.